Okay, let's have a look at how we write rubble sort. The first thing that we do is show the examiner that we're comparing the first two numbers. Because they're the same, we don't do anything. Because they're th in the right order, sorry, we don't do anything and we move on to the next two numbers. Circle them, show that we're comparing them now. They're in the right order, don't do anything, move on to the next two numbers, 6 and 1. Now they're in the wrong order, so we need to swap them round. Swap them round, and now we're comparing the 6 with the 7. They're in the right order, so move on. 7 with 4 is in the wrong order. Swap them round. Now 7 with 5. Wrong order, swap them round, and 7 ends up being the biggest number. That's the end of the first pass. Now it would take ages if we had to do this for every pass, and thankfully we don't. So the next stage is to take the list of numbers that we're working on, uh, the smaller list of numbers here, and and then what we're going to do with that list is just write the result at the end of each pass. So if I just copy this list of numbers here and show what happens there, we're going to take this list of numbers, compare the 2 with the 3, now you can do this mentally, compare the 2 with the 3, nothing happens, um, compare the 3 with the 1, they swap, 3 with the 6, nothing happens, 6 with the 4, swap, now all of this you can do as you're writing it down really, 6 with a 5, they swap. So at each time you write the number down, just make sure that you swap them round if they're in the wrong order. 6 is now definitely in the right place, that's the end of the second pass. So I don't need to write the result of all of this, but sorry, each individual comparison, just write the final result. Then, starting off from the smaller list, compare the 2 with the 1. Show how we'd write this, I'll take this, copy it down onto a new line. Actually I won't bother doing that then. Two of the wrong ones in the wrong order. Two of the three is in the right order. Three with the four is in the right order. Four with the five is in the right order. And so we're finished there. Put a box around the four. A uh, five, sorry. Now we know from doing this previously that one, two, three, four are all in the right order, but let's just check for absolute certainty. One and two in the right order. Two and three in the right order. Three and four in the right order. 4 and 5 are in the right order, and so nothing happened on that pass, and so we're definitely finished. And so, apart from the fact that I've not written the numbers in these places because I've moved them, that would be a pretty much model solution to this exam question.